Hello traders out there in trader land. My name's D7 here at Grok Trade. This is the weekend edition. Good through May 19th, 2019. And the markets end the day bearish on Friday. Everybody down. However, US dollar up. But a big, big drop on NASDAQ. Russell's 2000. Financials down. Silver down. Gold down. VIX higher by 4%. We're at 16 now. Bitcoin at 73, almost 7,400 time of this video. And I'm going to go fast here. I just got out of the shower. I just got off the racquetball courts. Then I just got out of the shower. And I'm trying to get this video in before I go off to uh, for a family gathering. My grandmother, my Cajun grandmother is in from uh, New Orleans or around there, uh, there in Louisiana. And she's visiting here in Hoosier country. I'm in the Midwest, Indianapolis, and she's here. We're gonna go have a big cookout. And we'll, so she's as Cajun as you can get. She speaks fluent French. And I make a gumbo from scratch. I've got a lot of Cajun blood in me. And anyway, I'm looking forward to seeing her. Um, where are you from? Uh, did you guys, so I, I have a lot of French in me. We came over from, from the Orleans area of France. And migrated over Nova Scotia, and then um, Newfoundland, and then Boston, and then down to New Orleans, and that's where a lot of my family is now. Uh, I did that through, I got all this from Ancestry.com, I did the DNA test, and then I did the, um, also 23andMe did the DNA, it's fascinating the things that you find, monologue here at the beginning, anyway, I gotta go fast here, because my wife's getting ready to come back with the cheesecakes, and and we're heading out the door, and we got about an hour drive in front of us. Okay, spiders, spiders, spiders. Um, as soon as I said the, on the, my last video, things are looking bullish. We did go bullish the very next day, but then because of the tariff issue there with China and and what's going on there, President Trump, um, a lot of turbulence. But if you'll notice, look at all the white candlesticks. That means every time we go lower, we close higher. That's pretty good sign when you see that. Every time there's weakness, it keeps closing higher. So as um, long as we can stay within this channel that we're in, we need to get above these moving averages here to, for me to really feel good. So everything is still suspect at this moment, especially with the weakness that we saw in the small caps and techs. The diamonds, same way. We're, we're heading up, but we're caught up in the moving averages. We need to get over these moving averages to, for me to really feel good about this. The NASDAQ, um, the NASDAQ's actually gonna get a sell from me. I'm gonna put a sell on the NASDAQ. Um, we were bouncing, but it just looks more weak to me than strong. Russell's 2000, oh, bit right at support, guys. We could be breaking down. Guys, so let me tell you this. Whatever the NASDAQ's doing, whatever the small caps are doing, whatever the financials are doing, that is what the markets are going to want to do. I watch those very closely, and I'm seeing relative weakness now here on the small caps, Russell's 2000. We're at major support there. If we break that, the rest of the markets could follow. Let's see what the financials are doing. Financials are at a major support. I'm not ready to put a sell on it yet. Um, we're at a major support, but it was. It's, it keeps dipping below, dipping below, but it's it's... Uh, well, let's see what happens, okay? Let's see what happens. A lot of upper shadows here with showing uh, upside buying or selling pressure. Very interesting. U.S. dollar has been on fire, and it last couple of days broke this major area of resistance, and U.S. dollar is doing really well. Crude oil, what's going on with crude oil? I have a sell on crude oil. Um, I don't know. I... Man, why didn't I put a buy on that on Thursday? I'm not sure. Normally, I'd have a buy here. I'm not sure why I don't have a buy off on Thursday. But I'll stay with my sell at this moment. Silver. Whoa, we had a sell on silver back on May 8th. And we are dropping, dropping, dropping gold. We are, This is Friday, Thursday, Wednesday. Wednesday put a sell on that. Arguably, I could have did Wednesday or wait, Tuesday, but it, since it hammered out up there, I, I didn't. But this one, it closed down below it, and I was like, all right. And sure enough, we're dropping, but we're major support. I have tempted on gold to put a buy on it, but we're just showing too much weakness on decent volume. Um, I'll put a buy on it if it bounces there off of that. VIX, um, VIX, we got to sell on it down, down, down. Have tempted to put a buy on the VIX right now. 
Man, I think we have a good chance of going higher on the VIX. That means fear going higher. Guys, the market's looking pretty weak right now. I'm seeing some weakness. Bitcoin, I have a sell on Bitcoin, but look how it rallied back. Whoa, rallied back. Um, because I sold out of Bitcoin. I'm waiting. I just, man, I'm not ready to buy back in yet. I'm not ready to buy back in. But Bitcoin has been on fire. We've doubled in price. I think a 60% gain in the last 30 days, and it's been 100% in this year. Uh, just mark my words, Bitcoin is going to the moon. I mean, it's it's just it's going to go higher. A lot of turbulence, so just expect it. But if you look at... If you look at Bitcoin versus the U.S. dollar, there's no comparison <laughs> on which one is showing more stability and strength. Um, okay, uh, you know what? Quickly, quickly, let's just go over to some stocks. Apple, Apple, I got a buy on it, but it's under a lot of pressure. It's under all the moving averages. That's in bad trouble area. AXP, AXP. Uh, we got a buy on it. It's going up. Not too bad. Boeing. Got a buy on it. But that's a bear pullback. Look to sell that soon. Caterpillar. Uh, got to sell. Wow. Big drop on Friday. Big, big drop. Wow. Okay. 3% um, drop. Fit Cisco. We got a buy. And, oh, big rally. Cisco has been on fire the last few days. CVS. Just know uh, we're, we're in earnings season still. CVX got a sell on it, but that could be a buy. Do I want to put a buy on that? CVX, Chevron could be a buy. I'll wait for that. Disney, I got a buy, um, and I'm good with that buy. Dow DuPont, I have a buy. You'll see um, those days I've had buys, and then the very next day we dropped, and then, you know, so it was just all this craziness on my calls. GE, big bull flag, guys. I got a buy on that. GE looks strong to me. Goldman Sachs, I got a buy on it, but we're under. It's looking weak to me. Home Depot, I got a buy on it, but looking weak. IBM, I got a buy on it. Oh, no. And I have a sell on it. I got a sell on it. Um, INTC, Intel, I got a buy on it, but now I have a sell on it. <laughs> Johnson and Johnson got a buy on. I'll stay with my buy on that. JP Morgan, I got a buy, but it looks weak. It's just, I mean, it's okay. It's a bull flag. I mean, that could get go. Um, Coca Cola has been on fire, but we're gonna sell it, take profits. Um, McDonald's, McDonald's, I got a buy on it, but that just ugh, it looks like a big rising wedge. Watch out. I'd be looking to take profit soon on McDonald's. 3M, got a sell and had a buy and then a sell. And then, wow, we're dropping down. Merck, I have a buy on it. I'll stay with that buy. It looks fairly strong. Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft, I have a buy on it, but now it gets a sell. Couldn't even make it to resistance, so it's relative weakness. Nike, I got a buy on it. Oh, boy. Oh, oh it's just weak. But I'll, because of Friday, I'm going to stick with Nike. Um, PFE, I got a buy on it. I'll stay with it. PG, I got a buy on it. I'll stay with it. TRV, Travelers, got a buy on it. Everything's looking just toppy to me. Got to sell on it. Oh, man, now I got to change that. It's a buy. We're going to do a buy now. A buy on United Health. Um, UTX, but I think it's short lived. UTX, I got a buy on it. But you know what? I'm going to sell it now. Verizon, I got a buy on it. I'll stay with my, no, yeah, I do have a buy on it. Okay, good, good, good. Ver, um, Verizon, I've got a buy on it. Sat through a lot, but it's going okay. WBA, I have a sell on it from back here on March 20th, and we're still dropping. Walmart, put a, that's Thursday, have a sell on it, but that could pop back up there. Interesting, we'll see what happens happens there. Exxon, I got a, a buy on it. Oh boy. I'm not going to put a sell on it because we ended on a bullish note. Let's just quickly, quickly go over tech stocks. We already looked at Apple AMD. I got a buy on it. AMD, I'm going to put a sell. Um, Amazon, I have a buy on it, but that gets a sell. What I like about putting all these arrows on when I'm doing my video is it allows you to monitor these arrows yourself uh, I Bob up so big drop Bob had dropped 3.4 percent Baidu had earnings and a major drop Wow 
buy to um, booking which is Priceline I have a buy on it it's really weak guys but I'll keep my buy Cisco I got a buy on it and net I, or it's looking good where you looked at that catfish up one percent wow put a buy on it and it's going okay but still under moving average just watch that eBay I got a buy on it I'm gonna go ahead and sell um, Facebook I got a buy on it I'll stay with that Google oh, I'll get to sell Google with an L gets a sell. Google with an L gets a sell. GoPro down two percent. So we're so that's good. We got our sell on it already. Microsoft, do we have a sell? Yeah, we already looked at that one. MU, we have a sell. We're dropping Netflix. We got a sell. We're gonna put a sell on Netflix. Nvidia, I have a sell and I'm good with that sell. Oracle, I have a sell, but it popped up on me. See that? Friday, it popped up on me. So that could be a buy soon. Uh, I'm, I'll stay with my sell. PayPal, PayPal. Oh, you're killing me. I'm going to put a sell on PayPal. Hate to do it, but I'm doing it. Shopify, got a. Buy. Let's take profits, guys. Everything looks weak to me. We got a tweezer top there. Snap. Or up, up, up. Tesla. Got to sell. Wow, big drop on Friday. It dropped almost 8%, guys, on Friday. Twitter down 2%. That gets a sell. And fortunately for me, my wife has not come back yet because the dog would be barking and they'd be like kids coming down saying, let's go. <laughs> Let's go see grandma. Um, very cool. Question. Have you guys ever done the DNA test? If so, let me know. Ancestry or that. I did the meta. I, the biggest package they had, I did, I did with those. If, you're, um, if you haven't done them, let me know if you ever plan on um, doing it. But I, I have found some interesting things. It's great. Wow. Just interesting. It says I should not be drinking coffee. And, uh, and there's so many things it tells you. So that's it. That's it. I'm rambling. I'm rambling. But um, the DNA stuff, that's, that is of interest. That's very, very interesting. So that's it. Let me know if you know where you came from. What country did you arrive, you know, originate from? You know, especially here in the U.S., we're all mutts, right? We all <laughs> came in for the most part. Um, let me know where you're from, you know, what your heritage is. And Louis, I think the 17th, the, um, the last French president. I am a descendant of. I didn't know that. Unfortunately, it was right before the French Revolution. He was beheaded. <laughs> so, oh boy, interesting. The very last president, or I'm um, king. Yeah, so, very last king. You guys on the 80s, I love your picks that you put on the 80s. You gave me your songs that were your favorite. Man, it was reminiscent. So I go to Spotify and I listen to the 80s stuff and all. Yeah, re really, really cool. So if you made it to the end, say made it. Always appreciate that. Take care, guys. We'll see you later. Bye.